Hi everybody, Jessica here with Divine Intuitive Healing and Fearlessly Inspired Awakenings with an energy update for the solstice and full moon on the Twin Flame Collective. Um, it has become clear to me now after three or four collective readings since May that spirit seems to be creating these spreads through me. And when I, I don't know if you read my last reading on the blog, like not on Instagram and not the video, but what I wrote on the web, on my blog website. Um, when I was writing about this, one, an item on my desk moved on its own. And right when I was saying that I'm pretty sure spirit is encoding the spread with like downloads or light codes or twin flame, probably twin flame codes would make the most sense. Um, it's kind of, that's not something that I know a lot about, to be honest, but being a twin flame reader, it would not surprise me for it to be twin flame codes. And I know enough about it to know that it happens. And I just didn't really realize that <clears throat> spirit was using me <laughs> in that way until it just kept happening. Um, because each collective reading, if you go back and look the last few, um, each one was for some type of event, the five, five portal, um, the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse, and now the solstice, each one has had a slightly different shape. And like I said, when I was literally typing the words on the blog that I'm pretty sure spirit is encoding light codes into the spread for you all to download just by looking at it. That's when a tissue, a balled up tissue paper on my desk, like rolled over maybe a quarter of the way on its own. And yes, the AC was on, but it hadn't moved, but the AC had been on <laughs> and it hadn't moved before and it didn't move again after and nothing else had ever done that before. So those are the types of things that I take as some confirmation. I believe that I also, if I recall correctly, um, got tingling at the same time, which is one of my ways of knowing that or, or receiving confirmation from spirit. So um, I do think it's safe to say now that <laughs> the, the, the visual of the spreads is important. I'm not sure that you how long you might need to look at it for. I can't imagine it's that long because I don't even usually show it for that long. But when I post the pictures on Instagram, I do post the wide out view of the whole thing. And I'm going to give you a view of it now before I put the camera lower to do the reading. Um, so just something to keep in mind because I think it's really interesting. And, you know, who knows what spirit is channeling to you, to each of you. I'm sure it's specific to each person. Like the, the twin flame codes can be, can have a general purpose. But for each person who downloads them, that's going to apply to you and your twin, however is needed for you. And your higher selves know what that is. You don't have to do anything special about it, okay? Um, your higher selves know and they will do whatever needs to be done with that. And whether it's filtering into your subconscious, um, opening up pathways and channels, who's to say? <laughs> One of the mysteries of spirit. But here, let me give you a good look when I can figure out how to do this. <laughs> there we go. Whoop. Okay, gotta hold that part. <laughs> Wait a second. It collapsed on me. There we go. Okay, so you can see it pretty well there now. And while I'm holding it up, oh my gosh, everything's moving. <laughs> um, for today's spread, the pole dropped, but it's okay. We're good. Now it's st more stable. It was like spirit helped me out. It brought the stands down for me. <laughs> anyway, um, for t every time I do a collective spread, I feel what feels right. So like I said, spirit has been changing it up every time. So for today, I did it like I start one of my twin flame readings. The Akashic records here are making a heart. And this side is the feminine side. And this side is the masculine side. Meanwhile, um, I did grab some tarot cards for what each side is dealing with right now. I put a few twin flame oracle cards over top for a little additional information. 
I used one of my new decks, the Dragon Oracle cards, to ask Spirit which dragons are assisting the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and both of them together. So this is the Divine Feminine, this is the Divine Masculine, and both of these are helping both twins. And then I asked about what's being activated for both parties and got a little additional information from one of my moon decks, the one that I can never, ever, ever remember the name of it. I'm sure you guys know which one it is by now, even though I don't. <laughs> and um, I grabbed a little extra info from the Lennerman deck too. I felt the need to put these little like dots in between, <laughs> in, in between my um, diagonal lines. So yeah, this is the spread that I'm pretty sure Spirit wants you to see. So now I'm gonna adjust this one more time so that you can see each card that I'm talking about while I'm talking about it. And I don't have to hurt my arm holding it up. I'm just trying to make sure this is stable now. So give me a second. I think we are good. Okay. No, I can't move that anymore. Yep, I think we should be good now. Okay, so starting off, we have the overview of the connection, which this is going to be for, like, this is for the collective. So this is the overview for the majority in this collective right now, and it's the Queen of Scrolls. So the Queen of Scrolls being here, <laughs> Divine Feminines, you are carrying the connection right now. You're taking the lead. Um, well, Divine Feminines always really have been, but right now in particular, you are leading the energy of the connection, and it's all about the spiritual awakenings. You are, you're owning like a boss, your own spiritual awakening, stepping into your own um, higher awareness, deeper understanding of all aspects of um, everything, honestly, everything you're supposed to learn during this process, because it's a, it's not just about learning about the twin flame journey. It's about, um, it's about learning how to use your gifts. It's about opening up your spiritual understanding overall. It's about ascension. It's about many things. So you are learning about all of this stuff and processing it and putting it into the energy of the connection. Um, your, your thinking in general is deepening and expanding. And as I said, accordingly, you are leading the connection in that way. The strength of the connections right now is the karmic trench, but this one would be in reversal. Sorry, I thought I just saw that move. <laughs> so um, there's a few cards here that I'm going to read straight from the book because the, me the book meanings are channeled and it's a disservice not to read them, okay? So plus the dragon deck and the sacred forest are new to me and um, the dragon ones I have to read you because I don't know. <laughs> the sacred forest, I could give you a superficial meaning, but... I checked the book and there's power in the words there too. So I'm going to read those a little bit deeper. But so the karmic trench, this is the strength of the position, the primarily the divine masculines, but the twins overall are, are finding their way out of their karmic trench. The resources are coming to them in order to bring harvest and to this new life that you guys are both in the process of creating for yourselves as individuals and then together. Significant changes are happening, such as breakups of karmic relationships, career shifts and changes, shifts and changes. I'm not sure what I just said there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and, and changes in finances. Um, whether that you've come to this newfound freedom on your own or because of external challenges pushing you there, you being you, your twin, both of you, the power is in your hands now. Um, karmic changes don't happen overnight. So it's important to continue continually and consistently put the focus and work into these changes and avoid falling into old patterns of belief and feeling and avoid negative energy patterns, okay? This is your opportunity to overturn lifetimes of sabotaging karma and create a powerful new beginning that endures. Okay, the weakness of the connection right now or connections, 
With this diversity card as the weakness, it's basically saying that um, I, I would lean towards the divine masculines in this case. Maybe have so many things that they're working on and so much stuff happening all at once that they're dealing with that um, they're a little bit confused about where to put their energy first. So because there's some confusion over what to focus on, there's hesitancy in action. And that's why some of you are like, what the heck are these guys doing? Where's my divine masculine? Um, all of these readings are saying that we should be in union. Why aren't we in union? Is anybody in union? What is going on? <laughs> well, they're there. They're just, um, they're ready to do what they need to do. They're just trying to figure out, some of them are still trying to figure out which, what do I focus on first? Okay. Um, the divine feminines. Um, why did I just lose my thought process? Hopes or fears. <laughs> the divine feminines are hoping to start working on building this solid foundation with their divine masculines um, and creating this new future, um, moving on to greatness in the connection because this card represents, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of the exact words and the... The exact phrase is elusive to me right now. Why don't I see it here? You're there. You guys, as a pair, as a twin flame pair, are on your way to greatness. And this shows that. And the divine feminines are ready and anxious to, to work on that, to get there, to start building that foundation and that new life brick by brick. Brick by brick. I can't talk. Oh my gosh. Brick by brick, <laughs> one by one, and start creating that new life. Masculines, hopes or fears with, with loving elementals is that they are ready for joy and happiness again. They want to celebrate with you and they are ready to start their new lives and, and put their happy, make their happiness a priority as well. Okay. I was going to say put it first, but it might not be first because of kids, but make it a priority as well. The divine feminine's true feelings is that they are ready, ready and wanting to come together with their divine masculines into union and come together with their soul tribe and um, be living the life that they know that they are meant to live with the people around them who are meant to be in their lives. Um, you know, this Saying hot community card is about coming together with your soul tribe, but the most important person in your soul tribe is your twin flame. So they, they want their twin with them and they want their soul tribe around them too. The divine masculines, true feelings with the sands of time. Um, honestly, I mean, this could be one of two meanings. It can be either that they are feeling the urgency to do this now or it's the exact opposite and they feel like they have plenty of time in the world. But I don't think it's that. Um, perhaps that might be in the um, in the like newer waves. Um, but first waivers for sure, they're feeling like they need to do this like yesterday. <laughs> they are chomping at the bit to get this done. Okay. Now, this I found very interesting. The feminines are adversely affecting things with this Hilarion card and the masculines are adversely affecting things with the Oracle of Delphi. I think you can see them both. Okay. Um, both of these are spirit centered cards. Um, I actually had to stop and think about Hilarion for a second. Um, I think for this card, there may be some feminines whose spirit is wanting you to Pay more attention and focus on your spiritual gifts, on expanding and learning how to use your spiritual gifts and expanding them. And you're not doing enough of that yet um, because a spiritual awakening is an important part of this journey and process. And um, holding yourself back just holds back the connection as well, to be honest. I mean, it's you're not holding back the connection by not working on your spiritual gifts fast enough. But if you're holding back in your spiritual awakening, you could potentially be, it really just depends on each individual twin flame pair and each, each individual person. But in any case, spirit wants you focusing on um, your spiritual gifts. And I was just thinking too, 
This can also be about focusing on connecting with your divine masculine and focusing on the energy of the connection. Like maybe some of you are focusing too much on the 3D and not enough on the 5D because you can um, you can connect with your divine masculine and feel his energy at any time. And that can inform you of a lot of things about how he's feeling and what's going on in the connection. It can be good reassurance connecting with him in the 5D. Um, it benefits you in a lot of ways. So focus on that too. And I am looking at this to see if there's anything else here that might make sense for how the feminine is adversely affecting things. It could be that, interestingly, even though Hilarion is the ascended master for spirit communication, he's also focused on like logical stuff. So it could be that you just need to Actually, it might, it could be that you need to turn to Ascended Master Hilarion or your other spirit guides for help in managing the like day-to-day -day practical logical stuff that pertains to everything in your life in this connection. And maybe it's just um, not that specific. Maybe it's spirit simply saying that you should turn to spirit more, ask for more help from your spirit guides, from your spirit team um, for guidance and assistance on, in whatever you need like you're, you're not in this alone spirit is here to help you and guide you so spirit is saying well, ask for our help let us help you <laughs> and with the divine masculines and the oracle of delphi this is also spirit oriented so both of you are not connecting with spirit enough and for the divine masculine side this is saying that he is adversely affecting things by not listening to his intuition enough and not listening to his spirit guides enough and it may be harder for him to understand what his intuition like how understand the messages from his intuition and from his spirit guides but you know we all kind of learn our way through that and um and spirit is guiding the divine masculines to figure that out too they're just they're allowing too much honestly ironically they're allowing too much logic-based thinking to get in the way of their intuition so it's kind of interesting how those connect okay what can the feminines do to help the connection? And you know, I actually, I'm going to flip this and I'm going to take the masculines first. You'll see why in a minute. <laughs> what can the masculines do to help the connection? Well, for one thing, the reflection card can mean outright moving. Stop. Hold on. Leave the cat alone. Oh, in your house. There you go. <laughs> All right. My dog has a bone and God forbid the cat walk by. Um, okay, so leave him alone. Lay down. Nala, lay down. Um, reflection does mean traveling or um, moving. So the most obvious right there is any d divine masculines who need to leave karmic situations, they need to outright move or they need to visit their divine feminines. This is also about connecting to your psychic gifts more, learning how to use them. Um, there's an important sentence here. Recognizing the difference between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsions, which are urgent and fear-based. Let yourself gain greater clarity and control over your emotions now. So this that's what the divine masculines need to be focusing on. They need to be letting go of the lower energy fear-based emotional reactions and focusing on their intuitive voice and guidance as well as moving <laughs> and the divine feminines can help the connection by believing with absolute unwavering blind faith and certainty that union is coming okay i can't say this enough like i learned it myself and i see it over and over again this journey is about blind faith. It does not matter what you see happening in the 3D or what you think is happening in the 3D. Everybody always assumes the worst and social media is the worst for exaggerating fears because you see stuff with karmic partners and it drives you crazy. But you cannot pay attention to that and you cannot make assumptions about how the divine masculines feel or what they are doing. And you truly have to have complete blind faith that this connection is meant to be and it will be absolutely 100% because you cannot lose your twin flame and no matter how messed up things might seem 
you will find your way to each other because you there's you just can't live without each other and both of you will figure that out and along the way you will heal and be able to embrace that life together despite whatever it is that you have to dismantle to have it okay and now my cat's gonna cry because that's what he does <laughs> um I do have one before I do the outcome there's one more card here that jumped while I was shuffling the garden card means that children are influencing the decisions being made right now so you know that can be why divine masculines aren't moving as fast as you would like um this can also be spirit babies who are guiding uh, both of you in the direction you're supposed to go in back towards each other. Um, in any case, children are an influence at right now over what is happening, how and when. And the outcome is setting your course. So the divine masculines are going to, if they haven't already, don't do it. Leave him alone. Don't you just love my readings when my animals always interfere? <laughs> now he's going to go cry at the door for me to let him out on the patio. I mean, I'm just going to get up and do it. <laughs> Setting your course, the divine masculines are leaving the karmic partners and they're setting their course for their divine feminines and for a brand new, beautiful, bright future. And you guys are going to have so many options open and available to you. So many opportunities, I mean, well, options and opportunities are the same, but opportunities is a little bit better because it's not just like a one-time thing. It's like a whole new path, a whole new life. Um, and it specifically says like, don't limit yourself. Like, widen your scope, take on everything that you can. The opportunities are limitless and boundless wealth. Um, and travel or relocation is included <laughs> or can be included. So uh, this is like, this is a very positive outcome here, which it, everybody should be, should already know and be expecting to be honest. Um, but to have complete faith in it. Okay. You guys very soon, well, very soon for some of you, I shouldn't say across the board very soon, um, are going to be united, be reunited with your twin flames and you're going to have endless opportunities available to you to decide on where you're going to go next and what you're going to do together. Okay, moving on from the Akashic Records, um, let's look at the Divine Feminine side. One sec. Okay, with this solstice, you know, it's funny because I heard so much positive things about the solstice and what the energy that was going to come out of it. But before the positive energy came out of it, there was some negative energy. <laughs> Y'all feel that? Because I felt it. <laughs> um, feminines had abandonment wounds triggered. There you can see it better. Had abandonment. Oh, I can't talk had abandonment wounds triggered with a lot of purging happening in order to, and I did too, to be honest. I spent, um, I would say two days, yeah, two days triggered and crying on and off. And um, I was even like, why? Like I'm, I'm pretty far along <laughs> and I'm also, on the cusp of union, I mean, we're actually, I would say, in the stages of reunion already. And it's just a matter of him um, taking the steps on moving out of the home that he is residing in with the karmic partner. But that relationship is long over. They're just residing in the same home because of the children. Um, but he and I are also in the reunion stages. So, I mean, I don't have... I don't get triggered often anymore and we are in a good place. So when this came up, I was like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> um, and I did a pretty good job working through it, you know, because I understand how to process it and not let my emotions overtake me, but it was a good one. And I felt like I knew this while I was going through it, but even more so once I got out of it, finally, I felt like, um, those wounds were triggered in order for me to 
I'm, I don't want to say fully because who knows, <laughs> maybe they're not 100% released, but more completely um, or closer to completely, just pull out those wounds even more so that they're no longer buried or suppressed and so that I could face them, face my fears that I was burying a little bit um, and accept the possibilities of what could happen rather than suppressing fear around them and purge that out and fully let it go and release it and be ready to continue moving forward. Like that's what happened with me. And I did see from a lot of clients that a lot of people were triggered. Um, so I would be bet, be willing to bet that many of you were as well. Okay. Um, the, for the divine masculines, they had regret um, was triggered for them over their past decisions that they have made that and how they have affected the divine feminines. And I actually noticed that with my masculine too. Um, I believe, I can't tell you for certain, but I believe that he felt um, my, my trigger and my reaction to it. And I woke up one of those mornings and I picked up and I knew it wasn't from me. I knew it was from him. I picked up a sense of dread and I think that it was around regret over his decisions and the feeling of what if he loses me. And even though we're in a good place, you know, it makes sense that he would have this stuff come up for healing as well. And especially right before any first wave masculines, um, they're on the cusp of making breakthroughs in their lives. And right before that, is going to be a big purge if it hasn't happened already. I believe my masculine had it already. I felt his anxiety mm, about two weeks ago, plus the purge from the solstice. Um, and now he's stable again. And I believe that um, any masculine who is getting ready to make big decisions, big changes, they are 100% going, you should expect this feminines, okay? They're going to have a a big purge or um, be triggered by a bunch of fears right before because making these changes is so scary and they're going to have a moment. They're going to have a moment where they need solitude. Um, and I have been going through this with my DM um, in recent, you know, the last month. I mean, I have been in, so I've still been in communication with him, but he's taken more time for himself in order to process all of this stuff internally prepare himself, purge what he needs to um, process his fears, prepare in all of the different ways that remember that, um, what was the name of that card? I think it was diversity. Um, all They have a lot of things that they're dealing with and juggling right now and it's figuring out what to focus on. So it's the same thing here. It's uh, emotionally as well. Um, they have a lot of things that they're processing and and releasing and healing. So they, if they go quiet for a period of time, that's because they need that solitude right now in order to process all of this and fully, completely prepare. You guys are both being pushed through any remaining shadow work that needs to get released before these big changes can happen. And what's going to happen? Karmic situations are coming to an end so that the scales can be balanced and justice can be brought to your connection and you can come together in reunion and union finally and and your relationship can be fixed and you can finally move forward how you're meant to because we know that we've all been going through this for a while right and let me just tell new let me just warn <coughs> excuse me hold on <coughs> and i know if <coughs> Any of you also have the special skill of choking on your saliva, <clears throat> but I do. <laughs> okay, let me just warn um, any newer wave twins that um, this journey is a marathon. It is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And people don't change overnight. They don't change so fast healing these wounds that, that you can expect, like you know, a few weeks or even a few months of, of separation or whatever it is that you're dealing with, um, waiting to be able to reunite. It's much more likely that it's going to take time. It doesn't have to take a long time for every single twin flame, 
but it is more likely that it's going to take time in order for spirits to completely like rewire and transform how you both think and feel and releasing those deep, deep, deep inner wounds and coming to a place of unconditional love and healing and acceptance of yourselves first, like an inner union and then each other. Okay. So it, it's a marathon and you have to write it out. And honestly, I don't believe that anybody can successfully walk away. You can try to, and you can date and, you know, do other things with your life. And, you know, you are meant to live your life while healing and while believing in the outcome, but, and you're not meant to sit around waiting, but you can't walk away from the connection that your twin flame will always be in your heart and in your mind. And you are meant to live your life knowing without a single shred of doubt that this is who you are going to spend the rest of your life with, even though you're not quite there yet. And honestly, to me, it has just felt like a long distance relationship. Um, and I have felt ha felt that confidence for a while. Yes, I still had some fears to release as I just discovered this past week. <laughs> but I have known that, you know, deep within myself that we will find our way there. So anyway, this is what's coming. <laughs> I don't remember where my point started. So I'm moving on. Okay, uh, let's do the guardian angel tarot it's actually just the angel tarot cards i have both the guardian angel tarot cards and the angel tarot cards this time it's the angel tarot cards so what do the divine feminines need to focus on right now i think you can see all of those well enough focus on your net with nine of earth you are focusing on your um success and happiness and satisfaction with your lives like on your own right now you know, not needing anybody else. Like with our twin flames, yes, we want them, but we we shouldn't need them. We should be okay. We should be okay on our own and have solid inner union. And then coming together with them will just be like the cherry on top. Okay. So have complete confidence in yourself. Have the, um, the confidence and the courage and the strength to stretch your wings and fly and establish your independence and your success and your happiness and your joy and your contentment and um and fully stepping into your own power as well and with the emperor you could say that if there are any areas of your life where where you still need to get yourself organized and establish a good plan for your for these things with your independence and your success then that's what you need to be focusing on right now okay and i can definitely say just from the other i don't pay a lot of attention to the other twin flame collective readings anymore um, since I just don't feel the need to for myself um, but I do know that some of them are talking about the same thing that feminines are focused on their inner world right now and their growth and their expansion and that's what you guys need to be focused on with the divine masculines <clears throat> divine masculines are focusing on overcoming obstacles with their confidence and I don't even obstacles isn't even the right word um they're working on overcoming how can I put this any like cracks in their confidence so that it, they're 100 percent strong secure and ready to go after these new opportunities for themselves and bring this offer for a brand new beginning to their divine feminines okay and remember I told you that right before their breakthroughs they're going to have a big purge. They're going to have a big moment moment of dealing with releasing any remaining fears. That's what this eight of air, eight of air, or eight of swords is representing. That they're re dealing with any remaining confidence issues. They're summoning the strength so that they can push forward in the ways that they are meant to. Okay. Now, um. What is being activated for the feminines? <clears throat> Integrity. So that you are focusing on yourself right now and taking the right steps for yourself and not putting the energy of waiting on the masculine into the connection. 
responsibility for your thoughts by rejecting and pushing away negative thoughts, negative self-talk, negative energy of any kind, and focusing on putting unconditional love into the and positive energy into your thoughts and into the connection. Willingness to compromise for whatever the situation needs for your divine masculine. And satisfaction, which it says here, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. And to me, this is that sounds like that nine of abundance or nine of earth. Sat finding the satisfaction in your life on your own without needing your divine masculine, okay? Um, you can still have him, you can still want him, but you don't, spirit doesn't want you to need him, okay? Um, for the divine masculines, what is being activated? Their true, authentic soul purpose and path as well as gratitude for everything in their life as it stands, as well as gratitude for an understanding of the ways that the ups and downs all help them and guide them and lead them to the destiny that, that, that is meant for them. Because honestly, with the Twin Flame journey, yes, there are a lot of ups and downs, but all of it has, serves a purpose. The low points all serve a purpose. They're, they're triggering wounds for releasing and healing and they're guiding you and pushing you and shaking up your lives and getting you guys down the roads that are meant for you. So even when it's really hard, it is for a reason and you should have gratitude for that. Um, vision is being activated for them so that they are their eyes are being opened to see the bigger picture, the bigger picture of this relationship the bigger picture of um, the journey and the bigger picture of their lives and the path of their lives and their full complete destiny. Okay. And then, then in turn is triggering or not triggering, activating action on their parts to move forward how they are meant to. Okay. Let's do the dragon cards. So which dragon is guiding the divine feminines? The rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, and accept opportunities. Um, I do want to read a little bit more in depth on these for you, so hold on. There's not a lot of them, so it won't take too long. The rainbow dragon is a fifth dimensional dragon. And it means... And just so you know, one of the things that I learned from this deck, and I had learned this elsewhere too, but it gave a little more information, is that dragons are real. That they used to be like visible in the 3D like animals, um, like back in the period of Atlantis. But with the fall of Atlantis, they went into the spiritual realm and they're no longer, they're no longer visible to the human eye. But they are real and they do help and guide us. And um, I found, also realized through watching some videos about ascension that i'm also an ascension teacher which means i'm a dragon rider and i have dragons working with me now i have not yet learned how to connect with them um but i want to <laughs> anyway ra rainbow dragon i'm not gonna read everything that says about the dragons but i'm gonna read the guidance that comes along with them this is a card of hope prayers expectation and gratitude Look for opportunities, expect miracles. When new openings occur, seize them. Sometimes you may hardly dare to believe that good fortune has sought you out. So make sure you accept it consciously and unconsciously. Do not let it slip away. Remember to thank the rain rainbow dragon who has come to you for opening new doors for you. Ride with the current of life this dragon has brought you and enjoy everything that comes your way. A rainbow dragon may feel like an illusion, but it is very real. If you catch the flash of rainbow colors out of, out of the corner of your eye, it is your rainbow dragon reminding you that the time for a new life is now. Trust that it will happen for you. Ooh, that gives you a sign to look for too, the catching rainbow colors in the corner of your eye and perhaps even seeing them in the sky. Okay, which dragon is with the divine masculines? The earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. Okay, the earth and air dragon is a 3D dragon. No, sorry, a fourth dimensional dragon. 3D, we would be able to see it. It's earth and air, right? 
The only thing about these cards is that there's no numbers, so I have to go to the table of contents to find them. And it's not alphabetized either, so it's a little trickier. This card indicates it is the time to clarify your hopes and intentions. Ask the brown and blue earth and air dragons. Oh yeah, it is brown and blue. <laughs> um, to illuminate your visions. Then ask them to help you take all the action necessary to bring those visions into physical reality. This will re-energize your life. These dragons also offer you assistance in rising above your challenges while remaining grounded in the beautiful vibration of earth. They enable you to find the perfect balance so that your life can truly flow with grace and ease. So call on them now and ask them to help you understand the purpose of your life's lessons and see the highest good in all people and situations. As you see the lessons presented to you on your ascension pathway from a new perspective, your life will be filled with joy and purpose. Let the earth and air dragons breathe their life force into each of your 12 chakras and bring you into balance and harmony. Relax as they do this and you will have a new sense of calm and equilibrium as you walk your divine path. And then I asked for two dragons that are guiding both of you together for your connection. First, we have the deep blue dragon keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Walk on a path of light. Okay, deep blue dragon, where are you? Also a fifth dimensional dragon. This card is suggesting that you call on the deep blue dragons to protect you or your loved ones. Visualize a protecting army of deep blue dragons gliding in front of you wherever you walk or drive. Let them precede you into your home or office. Ask them to dive into the ground below your house to consume all lower energies. Ask them to keep an area of a kilometer around you totally clear. Relax and trust this is happening. Honestly, you really should do that because um, twin flames are always under attack and psychic attack is real and it can be coming from people and it can be coming from entities. Um, it can be it can be spells being directed at you, it can be just be negative energy directed at you, and it could be entities attacking you. And I have had a three and a half year spiritual warfare journey that I defeated and won from the crazy karmic that we've dealt with. I have dealt with 10 demons and more spells than I can count. And I know what I'm talking about. And many of my clients have dealt with the same, have dealt with similar, maybe not the exact same as me, but similar. And honestly, I have been shocked at how many of my clients have dealt with the same thing um, that they have discovered this over the course of their journey with me. Um, now I wasn't, may or may not have been the one that guided them to finding that out, but I have been able to help them in fixing it. Um, goodbye. I have the right contacts because of the people who helped me, um, because you do have to worry about getting scammed. So I know have reliable people <laughs> and trustworthy people. But anyway, my point being is that people have no idea how common this is and People have no idea how many people are, how far people are willing to go. Um, it's really quite disturbing, to be honest. And there are also people who are being tricked, to be blunt, um, who think that they're not doing anything harmful, but they are still invoking, either they or the people that they work with are still invoking demons to do what they're asking, even if they're only asking for something for themselves. Invoking demons is never a good thing. Demons don't care about you. They have no boundaries. They are only they only exist to cause trauma and chaos. And even if they give you what you want, they are going to find some other way to fuck up your life or to corrupt you and turn you bad. So uh, any type of spiritual work that involves um, invoking any negative spirits is not good to do okay you can work with angels and you can work with um that like, there is good magic and um and good spirits and good um light workers and whatnot that that can do things working with good energy but just keep that in mind okay and there's also a ton of people who have no problem doing black magic or or casting spirits and entities and whatnot so anyway i'm not going to go down that road anymore right now 
and it is something that I plan to discuss more because people need to realize like you have I guarantee you that many of you are dealing with these issues without even knowing it and it can be holding that is the one thing that can delay your union with your twin flame indefinitely and there's a bunch of twin flame guides who tell people you can just rise above that and it's bullshit <laughs> okay I would know I dealt with it and no you cannot just rise above it okay when um, when major demons are trying to kill you or hurt you you cannot just rise above that and your twin flame has to be able to as well and if they are under spells they can't for use free will to override them so the, this whole ridiculous idea that you can just um, overcome any of that on your own is absurd you can invoke Jesus to banish it away temporarily but you do need more stronger help in order to permanently get rid of it. And I will fight anybody who tells me otherwise <laughs> because I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, again, not going to go down that road any further. Point being, from this card, Deep Blue Dragons, um, these attacks are very common on Twin Flames because Twin Flames are assisting in the ascension process by raising the vibration of humanity and the planet through unconditional love. Many twin flames are dealing with spells and with entity attacks. So 100% absolutely do exactly what this card said and, um, and invoke these deep blue dragons for protection to, to um, clear all of the energy and area around you. And it's funny that it says to dive into the ground below your home because I had that issue once. Um, when I was learning how to banish them myself, one of my mentors cleared my home for me when I was attacked, but then the next day it attacked again. And I was like, how the heck did it do that when we just cleared it and put protections and she looked deeper and it had burrowed under the ground below my house and kind of came in that way. And when it came in, it came in through a, um, light switch, I think not a light switch. Uh, outlet because it crashed my computer and I had to buy a new computer um, so yeah <laughs> so yes cover all of the area under and around and and invoke visualize visualize archangels circling you and your home and and keeping um, like uh, an aura of protection around you at all times and including the deep blue dragons okay what else does it says here because i didn't finish reading because the deep blue dragons are transmuting the lower energies of those in your vicinity you are no longer moving through the dense energies of other people notice how much lighter and happier you feel you can serve the planet by asking deep blue dragons to dive under your shopping mall schools big buildings or anywhere you feel they are needed to consume dense vibrations i did mean to say as well that i do believe that spirit is bringing to me the um the people who need help dealing with these spiritual warfare issues. Um, and I actually also channeled two decks relating to this as well to help identify it. I just haven't had the chance to make them yet. But, um, you know, if you at all wonder, you know, now you know, here's a reader who knows all about that and can guide you in the right direction, okay? Okay, the last dragon assisting the twin flames or for the connection, hold on, excuse me, is the dusky pink dragon from Andromeda. Um, prepares all your chakras to embody higher love, accept and radiate higher love, touch others with its flame. I thought this was just beautiful and perfect. And the, this dragon is a seventh dimensional dragon. <clears throat> Receiving this card indicates that you are ready for higher love. Oh my gosh, best per first sentence. The dusky pink dragons from Andromeda are suggesting it is time for you to carry this luminous light in all your spiritual energy centers. Touch your stellar gateway, soul star, causal, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral, base, and earth star chakras in turn. Breathing in dusky pink and affirming, I accept and radiate higher love. As you do so, have a sense of these dragons breathing pink into all your chakras. You become a flame of an ineffable pink love. 
Be aware you now have the power to touch everyone you meet with the flame of spiritual love. Know that when you work with this with the dusky pink dragons from Andromeda, you can make a huge difference to the ascension of the planet. Let's do that all together real quick. Okay, let's, let's, let's all take a deep breath together. And again, with your eyes closed, visualize all the chakras that they just mentioned. And this is gonna be from top down. Stellar gateway, soul star, causal, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral, base, and earth star. And actually, I'm going to add one more that I do know of. Um, there's a twin flame chakra as well, I believe. It's going back several months, but I am pretty certain that there's a twi twin flame chakra as well. Um, so visualize all of your chakras. And now breathe in and and see yourself breathing in the dusty the dusky pink um we'll just, uh, color see it filling your body and see it spreading out to every cell in your body and saying all together I accept and radiate higher love. And put your hand over your heart and just breathe that dusky pink chakra color and let it overtake you and all of your being and aura. Okay. Let's what am I missing? Oh, I'm almost done. Um, this won't take too long now. So from the moon cards, feminines right now, focus on self-love while you are, um, I don't even want to say the word waiting, but while you're waiting for outer union, continue focusing on inner union and self-love. Divine masculines are being led down their paths. Know and trust that and expect the unexpected. I really think that, you know, I know I'm sure that many of you are getting readings or psychic readings, twin flame readings all the time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you are not meant to know exactly when and how this is going to happen. You, just knowing that can put negative energy that delays it. So spirit is going to surprise you. Like you, with your readings, advisors may not be able to see time frames anymore or something like that because spirit doesn't want you to know and it's to protect the union and help it to come together how it needs to okay so expect it to be unexpected but like a wonderful pleasant surprise okay um from the Leonardman deck again spirit really wants you to know <laughs> that you both are being guided down your paths exactly how they are meant to go, okay? So no one trusts that. Even when there's pauses and difficulties and everything, you're going down the paths as you are meant to. Divine Masculines are dealing with dismantling the mountain of obstacles that they have been dealing with all of this time. And it's important at this time for them to pay attention to every single detail um, in order to fully either get around them or or blow them up and <laughs> get rid of them <laughs> um as soon as they finish doing that they are going to cross bridges to you to reconnect with you and show you how much they are devoted to you and loyal to you and love you and are ready to move forward with you and make this union a reality okay and now lastly well almost lastly actually that there's two different decks left. One of them I asked for advice for the feminine and one of them I asked what is going on with the masculines one more time because giving them advice isn't really going to be helpful here since they're probably not listening. <laughs> so feminines. Well first we have storm spirit chaos. This is the one that I told you that there was still power in the um in the words and this is uh, one of my new decks the sacred forest oracle. So, 
the chaos is coming into the masculine's lives as an activator for healing. Spiritual chaos allows for the dissolution of outmoded beliefs so expansive, energetic life force energy can fill your life. At, uh, expect upheaval, to be honest, and know that the underlying energy is restorative. So be ready to embrace it as you are being healed on all levels. And I feel like many of these masculines will already realize that, okay? Because they'll know that this is actually a good thing. Encourage them, if you do talk to them, to find time, find the calm in the storm and understand that the chaos is beneficial in many ways and it's an activating creative life force. Okay. This is also going to tear down walls of self-imposed limitations and bring about the unexpected. <laughs> Divine masculines are finding their power right now in order to stand up for themselves and speak their truths to take back their own authority over their lives, over these toxic karmic partners, to stand in their strength, to reclaim their power and authority from someone who's taken it from them, um, to let go of limiting beliefs and release any fear that has been holding them back. They are finding their spiritual power within that's born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. And this ability can heal others and bring light into the darkness. I love that it's the dragon spirit and I use the dragon cards. Because it says here, the dragon spirit at your side is a mighty ally. And he empowers you with healing and restorative abilities and helps you overcome any obstacle and protects you in all areas of your life. Beautiful. Wait, what's this last part? Within you dwells the remarkable power to manifest your dreams, gain great rich riches, and activate ancient wisdom. Take back your power and express your strength with grace. Okay, lastly, they have Pegasus and Transcending. And this is a beautiful card for where they're at too. Get ready for a dramatic activation of your spiritual journey. A powerful transformation is at hand. Great things are possible in your life right now. Prepare yourself to fly high above adversity. Take time to meditate so profound insights can be revealed to you. See the situation from a higher perspective. That's something that came out in the activation cards for them as well. Step away from the drama and emotional manipulation of others. Focus on the incredible creativity, vitality, and spiritual awakening within you. You're on a pilgrimage of the soul. It's time to transcend the weight of earthly burdens. Fly over situations that have been pulling you down. Don't involve yourself with the drama of others. When you remember that you have come from spirit and are eternal, challenging situations will resolve. A profound transformation is at hand. I love it. Okay, last one is um, advice for the feminines right now. What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? To create more healthy boundaries, we, use, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate toward others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Today's mantra, I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. I don't feel this is about your masculines. This is about other people around you, okay? What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. 
No more waiting for others. Do it scared, take the leap. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. And lastly, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work? Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. Okay, so I hope that this reading was helpful for you today. Um, please feel free to ask me any questions if you need to. You can um, um, find me on Instagram and Etsy and my blog. Um, I do have the links in the, um, I don't even know what you call it. I can't think right now. YouTube has like the section for links and I will put them in the notes as well. Um, in my Etsy shop, you can find the Twin Flame readings as well as a variety of other readings and coaching and energy healing and negative um, energy removal to assist you in however you need. So um, just let me know how I can help you guys, okay?